Hi there. Just a quick little video now on accuracy versus reliability. Now I know this is a concept which sometimes gets us a little bit twisted up. So I thought we'd have a little go at knocking out the difference between accuracy and reliability. So we're gonna look at this target. Here we go, here's a target. And we're gonna think as to whether the shots that we shoot at this target are accurate or reliable. Um, well, that we will take as a very accurate shot. Bang in the middle, and that we will take as an inaccurate shot. But what do these shots actually represent? And what does this target represent? Well, imagine that you're doing some sort of scientific investigation, and out there, in the world of the universe, there is a correct answer to your scientific investigation. Maybe it's as simple as the amount of mass by which your potato chip should change when you submerge it in 0.5 molar sucrose solution. Maybe it is something more or less consequential than that. But we're assuming that there is a real correct value for that. And that's that one right in the middle there. In truth, you will never know and no one will ever know what the real correct value is. And so, whether you get the first value in the middle or the second value on the outside, you won't actually genuinely know whether or not you have the correct answer. And so that's why we do quite a number of different experiments, uh, indeed repeat experiments, to confirm the ideas that we have kind of come up with with our experiments to start off with. So key concepts from this. There is a real correct answer out there that we're trying to find in our scientific experiments, and that's represented by the centre of the target here. On the same note, you will never know for certain what that real value is, and therefore having lots of experiments will hopefully help confirm your ideas. And if all your results are really close together, that means your results are reliable. So, with that in mind, what do we mean by accuracy versus reliability? Let's have a look at a few samples. This lot are accurate and reliable. They're all close together and they are all in the middle, uh, really close to that central point. The point of the analogy here is, if you do an experiment and you find that all your results are clustered together, then they are gonna be reliable results. Furthermore, there is some mystery value out there, which is the real value that you're hoping your experiment reflects. And so if you're results are really clustered together and they're on that mystery value, which I suppose you never really know, then they are accurate and they are reliable. Accuracy you will get by really good control of your control variables and really good precise measurement of your dependent variable and independent variable. So these are accurate and reliable. Next up, inaccurate but reliable. Okay, these ones, they're not accurate, they're not actually at the supposed correct value, but they are pretty reliable. They're all around that area, and there's not much difference between them. In a sense, this is the most dangerous set of results because they aren't giving you the true value, but because they're all so close together, they are gonna give you confidence that at least the results are reliable, and that may lead you to false conclusions. Now, the reason this may have occurred is because you've got one systematic error that's affecting all of your results in exactly the same way, and therefore you're gonna get a skewed idea of what the true value should be. Okay, that's inaccurate but reliable. Let's have a look at another set. These are accurate but unreliable. These are accurate, why are these accurate? Well, if you look, on average, they are all the same sort of distance from here. And if we were to find an average of all of these values, it would be bang in the middle of that target. The thing is, they're very unreliable. They're also spread out from each other that although they have given you the correct answer, you would never be able to trust them enough to know that you do have the correct answer because they're so spread out. So they don't deceive you, but they give you no confidence that you've actually got the right answer. Inaccurate and unreliable, they're all spread out, they're not actually anywhere near the real answer, and these just will lead you to have no valid data to make a valid conclusion. So that's accuracy versus reliability. 
and you can always use these sort of concepts when considering how to analyze your scientific data. Thank you. I don't know if that's helpful or not.